in the UK with no Second Amendment, right? Um, how do you protect? How, how do you do this and, and feel secure? How do you protect yourself? At least in the United States, someone like yourself would have that as a failsafe. Yeah, you keep your head in a swivel, but they can protect their own and so can their family. You can't there. Uh, genuinely, w what is that like? I had the police come to my house at four o'clock in the morning. They woke my whole family up and they said, here is a government, it's called an Osman warning. An Osman warning is when there is serious intelligence that people are about to kill you. Mm -hmm. So they gave me an Osman warning and they said, Al-Shabaab, a terrorist group from Somalia, Somalia area, who two weeks prior had massacred hundreds of people in the Kenyan shopping mall. Al-Shabaab have named you to be caught, killed at all costs. What you're not, then it goes on to read what you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to get a weapon. You're not allowed. So basically, what I've said to them is, what am I supposed to do? Put a little chain on my door. Yes. It just told me, and, and, and the police have given me six of these. Six of these serious threats. I had six Muslims who were arrested in a car. They had guns, bombs, and IEDs, suicide notes, on the way to kill me. And I've, I'm not allowed to. If you watch my videos... For the past 10 years, I walk with my hand on my back. So when, when I'm in a situation, I didn't in Rome, and I didn't most recently against Antifa, because I'm fed up of having my face beaten. So, but, but I constantly have to be, not just, not, not am I not only allowed to have a weapon to protect myself, but I'm also fully aware that if I try to protect myself, I may end up in prison right. for fighting against, for being a racial attack. Right. So I'm constantly not just cautious of all of that. I'm cautious of all of it. And um, but was it the mayor of London just called I... for knife control? Just called for knife control in London. I don't even. I don't, I, apparently, you guys already do have knife control. Yeah. Um, I mean, what is it? I have this right now. Someone just just gave this to me as a gift, which will be totally illegal. It's just a. a, a I've, I've already stabbed myself with that knife. Yeah, I know. It's it's, it's a very strong, strong spring. Yeah, I, you know. Now they're saying knife control. I'm going. Hold on a second. When, when people say it's just an assault weapons ban, and they go, well, actually, it's just a, it's just a semi-automatic ban, and they go, well, actually, it's it's a mental health issue. Well, actually, it's a universal. Well, actually, it's a gun registry. Then they go, well, stop. Well, okay, with your straw man, what do you you think there's going to be knife control? It sounds so absurd because what can you do? People have kitchen knives unless all cutlery is plastic knives and forks there is no way to implement knife control uh, on a general populace all of life at is all. an airplane cabin <laughs> right exactly exactly all of life is an airplane cabin yet that's what they've been calling for in london I, why why and how have they not been learning from the mistakes tommy i, I watch it from here I, first off i'm very concerned that it comes here to the united states that's my concern a, a, and i also cannot i genuinely i try to understand people who disagree with me so at least i can understand their arguments I, I'm at a loss, man. Maybe you can help me. Well, I've got three children. I go to bed every night, and I'm aware that people at some point are going to come to kill me. And I'm aware that I have no way of defending my family. And that is a, a gut-wrenching, gut terrifying, and also a sad feeling. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing I could... And that's just it. So forget about going out of my house. I can't even defend them in my house. And, I, and I'm not allowed to. And, I, and we have no way of having weapons. We're not allowed them. You know the knife you just pulled out? Yeah. I'd go to jail. To be, if I had that, I'd go to jail. Yeah, I know. Same thing in Canada. Right. Yeah. I'd go to prison for that. By the way, this isn't any more dangerous than a kitchen knife. That's something, too, that people... Right. So if someone wants to come into your house with a kitchen knife, or, of course, with a gun, or a bomb, or a pressure cooker with some nails in it, they can do it. This is actually smaller than the steak knives in our house. It's, it's, we, it's... It, we, 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 don't have, we don't have firearms in the UK. There were 30 shootings in my hometown, 30, in a four-month period. So the criminals still have guns. Right. The terrorists still have guns. Knife crime. Sadiq Khan, the mayor, he stopped stop and search. His, his whole way to power and what he claimed was to stop the racist stop and search procedures of the police. Mm -hmm. Since stopping that... Murders, knife crime, gun crime, rape, everything has gone up upwards of 30%. We just overtook New York for more murders for the last two months in, in our capital city than New York. London has become, we, London is the acid attack capital of the world. We have more acid attacks in, in London. Yeah, that's so something that really disturbs me, like, to my to my soul. There's one thing, you know, shooting, we were just talking about this, shooting, knifing, acid attacks, you're not even doing it with the intent to kill, you're just doing it with the intent to ruin somebody's life. That's the only purpose behind it. It is 
evil uh, just crystallize in one action. I think there's a special place in hell for people, and against women very, very commonly in yep. the UK.